This video will show you how to export your completed board file to Gerber files. Gerber files are the type of files used in PCB manufacturing. This example shows the Solder 3 Workshop PCB In Fusion, select the Manufacturing tab. Then click the Manufacturing drop-down menu and select CAM Preview. Notice the top side silk screen doesn't show the component values. When I look at the bottom side, it doesn't show the UTA logo I wanted to be added to the PCB. If you click on the Board tab, this will give you a lot of important information about your PCB. Take note of the width and height. Let's close this window for now. In order to choose which layers to export, we will use the CAM processor. Always use the template underscore two underscore layer dot CAM. Click on the top copper. You see it contains the top, pads, and via layers. The bottom copper is similar. This PCB has a ground plane as the bottom copper with vias that help connect ground to the top layer. Click the profile to see the PCB's outline. Solder mask top shows where the green protective mask will not be applied. In other words, the copper pads we need to solder later. Click on solder paste top. This will show you where solder paste needs to be applied. This is only for surface mount components we will have a video soon about how to use this layer to order a solder stencil. Click on Silk Screen Top. Notice it has layers T Place and T Names, but notice on the PCB I have the values showing on the PCB, and I want to include that in the Gerbers. Click the Layer button and select the T Values layer and press OK. Now the values will be included on the PCB's silkscreen text. Click silkscreen bottom. This is where I wanted to add artwork from the underscore B silk layer. We will make a separate video on this process. You are now ready to process this job. Click process job and select a folder for the Gerber output. I'm just going to make a new folder called Test Gerber in my Downloads folder. Uh, click Select Folder. Click Open Folder to view the files. This creates several folders. Mine is under my name, Solder 3, Cam Outputs. In here, select the drill files. We will copy the drill file and put it with the rest of the Gerber files. Go back to the CAM outputs and select the Gerber Files folder and paste the drill file. In here we have all the files needed to make a PCB. Top and bottom copper, silk, solder mask, solder paste, and the drill and profile files. We can delete the Gerber job file. Select all the files and right click the mouse. Select send to compressed zip folder. We will show you how to upload the zip to a professional PCB manufacturer in a bit. But first let's verify each layer using a free Gerber viewer called GerbV. You can download a free copy from the address below. Once you have GerbV downloaded, open it and select File Open Layers. Navigate to your Gerber folder and select all the Gerber files and the drill file. This should be top and bottom copper, silkscreen, solder mask, solder paste, and the profile and drill files. Click on the Layers tab. Here you can turn each layer on one at a time to verify your layers exported correctly. Turn all of the layers off except the last layer. The copper bottom looks correct. Just one big ground plane. Turn it off and turn on the copper top. This shows all the traces on the top layer. Here you can see the battery ground connected to the large ground plane. You can also see pin 1 of the 555 timer connected to another ground plane. The traces to the ground planes are called thermal reliefs. Close this layer 
and turn on the drills layer. This agrees with all the holes and vias on this PCB. Turn on profile. Turn on silk screen. My logo shows up nicely. Turn on top. Okay, I see my part names and values and all other text I added, so that's good. Open solder mask bottom. Here you see the vias and standoff holes will not have solder paste covering them. Check solder mask top also. These are all the pads we'll need to solder, so we can't have solder mask covering our pads. Check your solder paste layers. Now that your Gerbers are verified, close Gerb V. This next part is about sending your PCB design to a professional PCB manufacturer. Open a web browser and type in PCB Way. This is a large PCB manufacturer in China. Create an account to track the manufacturing process. Notice that Instant Quote requires the PCB dimensions. We can look that up in the CAM Preview Dashboard tab. I'll go ahead and request five PCBs for this demo. After clicking Quote Now, there are many options to fill out. Uh, first of all, the board type. Normally, you're going to want to just have a single piece. Now, the material is almost always going to be FR4. Normal PCBs can use FR4-TG 150 to 160. Standard thickness is usually 1.6 millimeters. Minimum track spacing is how small your traces are and how close they are to each other. Always design with 6 mil or above for a sturdier PCB. Now the minimum hole size, ensure your PCB holes are 0.3 millimeters or larger. It will cost extra for smaller holes. Under solder mask color, the top row is included in the price and you can choose any of those colors. The colors on the bottom cost extra. Silk screen color, white is included but the others cost extra. If you have an SMA edge connector, check yes here. Use HASL lead free surface finish to reduce lead exposure. Under via process, leave tinting vias. That way you can probe them for test points later. Under finished copper, you will usually select one ounce copper. Here is a trace width calculator that you can use to determine your copper pour and trace width. With 0.5 amps and a 1 ounce copper pour, your trace needs to be 4.55 mil or greater. Since we are doing two-sided PCBs, we just need to look at external layers in air. If I need a trace to carry 2 amps, you'll see the trace width changes to 30.8 mils minimum. But if I order a 2 ounce copper pour PCB, then it only needs to be 15.4 mil or greater. This gives you some design options. The remove product number cost extra, so leave that alone. Add any special notes to the engineers in here. The stencils they sell are very large. I'll show you a different way to order stencils in another video. Click Calculate and Save to Cart. Agree that your PCB is not a top secret government black ops project or anything like that. And this is where you upload the zip file we created earlier. Upload your zip file with all the Gerbers, drill file, profile, and then click Submit. They will check it over for manufacturability and either email you with questions or it will pass. When it passes, just pay for it and choose your shipping and the PCBs usually arrive in about one and a half weeks.